Hello and welcome to another SQL tutorial. I am connected to the database with the help of this application SQL Developer, Oracle SQL Developer. The name of the user and the name of the connection in this case is Angel which represents our user which is also Angel. I have Oracle Express 11G installed on my computer and this application as well Oracle SQL Developer through which I'm connected to the database as user angel. Today's video is about a special table offered by Oracle which is known as dual. It's a very important table that you'll have to use frequently. One common misunderstanding among new students is that the select statement can only retrieve data from database objects. That is the data that has already been saved in database objects such as tables. In reality, this is not true. You'll have to use select statement to use data that is never saved in database objects. One prime example is systems date, which is stored in BIOS of your computer, which is there's a chip on your computer called BIOS that has a software that computer uses when it starts. This system state is recorded in BIOS rather than database table. You may also want to do calculations on numbers that are never saved in any tables. The syntax of a select statement. Select column name and you may want to use select all columns from database object. So you'll have to use select command. You have to use at least one column name. You may decide to choose more than one column name and you may also decide to use all columns from a database object. So if you don't write the name of the database object, you're not going to get anything. So how do we display systems date? if we don't if the date is not stored in a database object well oracle provides a simple solution to this problem by providing a table called dual and the statement would be select sys date from dual and if you run this statement you'll have systems date in front of you you may also want to do some calculations say for example you want a you want to multiply 300 by 250 from dual of course these numbers are these numbers are not stored in any database object and you can run this statement and you have the answer in front of you 75000 you may want to divide a number by some other number and you'll have the answer in front of you just by using this table dual so dual is a table owned by user sys and is available to all users in a database you can simply find out the name of the user who owns this table by using a data dictionary view we'll say owner and we'll say table underscore name from dba underscore tables where table underscore name is equal to dual and we'll run this statement and should be able to see the name of the owner so the owner's name is sys and the name of the table is dual so describe the structure of table dual and you'll have the structure of this table it is composed of only one column and the name of the column is dummy and the data type of that column is varchar2 and this column can have a maximum width of one character. Uh, select all the data from dual and you'll notice something very strange that this one column has a value of x owned. You can you can simulate you can simulate the performance of dual. You can create your own table that would behave like a dual table. So we'll say create table sunny for example and we'll say name of the column is dummy and the data type is varchar2 or varchar2 whatever you want to call it and it will have a maximum width of one character and if you run this statement you'll have 
we have made a spelling mistake here var charge 2 and we'll run this statement again and table sunny is has been created insert into sunny values and we'll say a for example run this statement and one row inserted so what if I want to use the same query against our new table called sunny sysdate from sunny and you'll have exactly the same answer as you had from a dual table you can see select user from sunny run this statement and you have user angel connected to the database you can say select 300 times 250 from sunny 75,000 you can say select 500 divided by 25 from sunny and you'll have the same answer so we have a table that is behaving exactly as a dual table is but dual table as far as the environment of the Oracle goes it's a universal table everybody knows about it do never try to remove that table you will not be able to start a database so a few more words on table and dual this table is useful when you want to select a pseudo column and the first and the most common example of a pseudo column is sys date that we used in our examples a pseudo column is an oracle assigned value which is used in the same manner as an oracle database column but it is not stored in any database object in uh, in in any table on hard disk the examples of pseudo columns are systems date which is sys date sys timestamp raw id raw number uid user level curve value from a uh, sequence next well and things like that thank you very much